Let's learn English with the incredibly creative YouTuber and vlogger Rudy Ohama. If you are new here, then I'm excited to welcome you to the most fun place to learn English on YouTube. So hit that subscribe button and the bell down below so that you don't miss our new lessons every week that will help you to understand fluent English without getting lost, without missing the jokes, and without subtitles. I was actually going to ask because you're uh, you're a big fan of anime, and so I was curious oh. if you've used anime, like the the dubs of anime, at all to learn other languages. Please, please, please don't do dubs. I I <laughs> talked about this so much on my channel. Don't do dubs. It's it's so unrespectful for anime, in my opinion, <laughs> because the voice actors in Japan go through like a very hard process when making mm -hmm. the anime, and I have a huge respect for them, and I think we have the best voice actors in the world. So I would want you to listen that in Japanese and feel that, even though you don't understand Japanese, I think you can feel it, you know, the anger, the sadness, the happiness, because they do it so well. I guess you could watch the American attempts, right? The, uh, the last airbender, for example. Please, no. <laughs> <laughs> but, no. uh, well, I ask because like a really popular series, you know, around the world is Dragon mm -hmm. Ball Z. I've never seen it. I don't think in, in Japanese, but actually I saw it when I was growing up and I don't really like in English. I don't really remember it so much. But then a few years ago, I watched all of Dragon Ball and all of Dragon Ball Z in Catalan, uh, which a language spoken here in Barcelona. But I totally agree with you with most things. Like mm, I, I watched yeah. um, recently some different uh, some different movies and everything I watched in Japanese with English subtitles. Mm -hmm. So I do like really love the sound and everything, even though I, I don't understand hardly anything. <laughs> do you have any anime series that you would recommend? I think it depends on that person. If they're new to anime, I think I would recommend something like Attack on Titan or Boku no Hero Academia, My Hero Academia. But if they're advanced, I would recommend Jojo, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. But in order to understand Jojo and love Jojo, I think you have to have a background of anime because then you don't realize how good Jojo is. I'm a big Jojo fan, by the way, if you don't know this. Um, I think, yeah, starting with these two and then switching to Jojo would make you fall in love with anime, in my opinion. And Death Note. I think Death Note can... Everybody watch it and love it. I think the concept is not that hard um, to understand, to love, and the characters are not that weird as Jojo. So Death Note, Attack on Titan, my Hero Academia, and then Jojo. I was actually going to ask because you're, uh, you're a big fan of anime. Let's start off by breaking down the beginning of this sentence, which I spoke quite fast. If I slow it down, it would be, I was actually going to ask. If you can't catch it when I say it fast without looking at the subtitles, what you're probably missing is the notion that not all words and syllables are said in the same way. By that I mean, I only stress one syllable in the three most important words of this sentence. I was actually going to ask because you're... All the other syllables are pronounced more weakly. It's not was, it's was. And going to becomes gonna. Say it after me, first slow and then fast. I was actually gonna ask because you're... I was actually gonna ask because you're... And so I was curious oh. if you've used anime, like the, the dubs of anime at all to learn other languages. When we say that, for example, a Japanese anime is dubbed in English or another language, we mean that the original language has been changed into one of those languages. We also say those are dubs or dubbed versions. Don't do dubs. It's, it's so unrespectful for anime, in my opinion, <laughs> because the voice actors in Japan go through like a very hard process when making mm -hmm. the anime, and I have a huge respect for them. You're probably familiar with the word respect, but do you know how to change this word using different suffixes? Let's take the noun respect. Now, choose an ending so that it becomes an adjective. That's right, now you have the adjective respectful. You can say someone is a respectful person 
or that someone is respectful of someone or something. Especially to you, because he's very respectful of women. Is he really? Now, how do you turn respectful into the opposite meaning? You now need to add the prefix dis to the beginning. So it's disrespectful. Don't feel bad if you say unrespectful, as it's a very common mistake. Ma, I don't mean to be disrespectful, but what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> if you take off fool, it becomes a verb. Last night, I tried to welcome you into my family. <laughs> Instead, you disrespect me. I cannot allow this. Are you a Friends fan? It is only considered one of the best series of all time, not only for entertainment, but also for learning English. That is why we used it to create an entire course that will help you to understand natives at any speed by mastering the principles of connected speech, the vocabulary that we really use, and the cultural context so that you can understand all the jokes and laugh along. You can give it a try for free right now. Join our three-part masterclass by clicking here or in the description down below. Because the voice actors in Japan go through like a very hard process. To go through means to experience something bad or challenging. Example, we can't really imagine what they're going through. I guess you could watch the American attempts, right? The, uh, the last airbender, for example. By this, I mean that although traditionally anime is considered a Japanese art form, some American series have mimicked the style of Japanese anime. Avatar The Last Airbender is probably the most well-known one of these. I said American attempts because they're an effort to be similar and as good as the Japanese ones. That said, Avatar has been received quite positively. I've never seen it, I don't think in, in Japanese, but actually I saw it when I was growing up and I don't really like in English, I don't really remember it so much. When we talk about something we did when we were kids, we often use the expression when I was growing up or something similar. Take a look at how it's used in these examples. When I was growing up, I didn't have a normal mom and dad or a regular family like everybody else. When I was growing up, I played the one on the far left. Wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. Monica said that when you guys were growing up, you really liked your doctor. What was his name? Like mm, I, I watched yeah. um, recently some different, uh, some different movies and everything I watched in Japanese with English subtitles. Mm -hmm. so. I do like really love the sound and everything even though I, I don't understand hardly anything. <laughs> do you know how to use the word hardly? If you do, then you might have noticed that I made a common small mistake there because I'm using a double negative. It would have been correct if I had said, I hardly understand anything. Hardly means almost not and we use it all the time. We might say, he hardly ate anything instead of he ate very little or he didn't eat much. Take a look at how it's used in these other examples. But he travels a lot, so he's hardly ever there. Wow, you know, it's so beautiful out there. You always wanted to get married outside. Why don't you guys just do it on the street? What? Well, look, it's hardly snowing anymore. It's so wonderful to see you again, my dear. In fact, I hardly expected to see so much. <laughs> do you have any anime series that you would recommend? I think it depends on that person. If something depends on something else, it is directly affected or decided by that thing. Example, choosing the right bike depends on what you want to use it for. Here's another example. The cost depends on the time of year. You can also use the adjective form dependent. The cost is dependent on the time of year. However, don't make this frequent mistake. The cost is depend on the time of year. Another common mistake I notice my students make is using the preposition of or in with depend. Remember, you should say, depends on. But if they're advanced, I would recommend Jojo, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. But in order to understand Jojo and love Jojo. In order to means so that someone can do something or something can happen. It's often used at the beginning of a sentence. In order to win, sometimes you have to lose. Sometimes we use the preposition for. Look, Rachel, this is poker. I play to win, all right? In order for me to win, other people have to lose. In order to understand Jojo and love Jojo, I think you have to have a background of anime. If you have an anime background, or if you have a background in watching anime, it means that you know about or understand anime because you have watched it a lot. If you wanted to expand this scene, like, like have the cab crash or something, I could attend to the victims because I have a background in medical acting. 
A common mistake people make when writing their resumes is that they lie about their background. That happened to Joey here when he said that he had a dancing background. Oh, Joey, all the roles gotta dance a little. <laughs> but believe me, with your dance background, it'll be a piece of cake. Three years of modern dance with Twyla Tharp? <laughs> if you are considering getting a job where you have to interview in English, then you might want to check out this lesson that we made. It could just help you to shine. It's linked down in the description. Because then you don't realize how good JoJo is. I'm a big JoJo fan, by the way, if you don't know this. Um, I think, yeah, starting with these two and then switching to JoJo would... To switch means to change from doing or using one thing to doing or using another. Example, she worked as a librarian before switching to journalism. Hello. Hi. It's been an hour. <laughs> the major D has asked if you'd be willing to reconsider switching to a smaller table. Maybe we should just eat now. Make you fall in love with anime, in my opinion. And Death Note. I think Death Note can... Everybody watch it and love it. I think the concept is not that hard um, to understand, to love, and the characters are not that weird as Jojo, so... A secondary use of that is as you see it in this sentence, where that is before an adjective. It wasn't that expensive. This means it wasn't as expensive as one might have thought, expected, or as it might have been suggested. You can use that in this case with a variety of different adjectives. So how's the uh, baby styling business going? Not that great. It's... No, it turns out the one from Uptown was making a joke. But it was a different joke than I thought. It wasn't that funny. Dead Note, Attack on Titan, My Hero Academia, and then Jojo. I was actually going to ask because you're... Uh, you're a big fan of anime, and so I was curious oh. if you've used anime, like the, the dubs of anime, at all to learn other languages. Please, please, please don't do dubs. I, I <laughs> talked about this so much on my channel. Don't do dubs. It's, it's so unrespectful for anime, in my opinion, <laughs> because the voice actors in Japan go through like a very hard process when making mm -hmm. the anime, and I have a huge respect for them, and I think we have the best voice actors in the world, so... I would want you to listen that in Japanese and feel that. Even though you don't understand Japanese, I think you can feel it. You know, the anger, the sadness, the happiness, because they do it so well. I guess you could watch the American attempts, right? The, uh, the Last Airbender, for example. Please, no. <laughs> <laughs> but, no. Uh, well, I ask because, like, a really popular series, you know, around the world is Dragon mm -hmm. Ball Z. I've never seen it. I don't think in, in Japanese, but actually I saw it when I was growing up and I don't really like in English, I don't really remember it so much. But then a few years ago, I watched all of Dragon Ball and all of Dragon Ball Z in Catalan, uh, which a language spoken here in Barcelona. But I totally agree with you with most things. Like mm, I, I watched yeah. um, recently some different, uh, some different movies and everything I watched in Japanese with English subtitles. Mm -hmm. So I do like really love the sound and everything, even though I, I don't understand hardly anything. <laughs> In which option is hardly used right? I hardly know him. I don't hardly know him. Do you have any anime series that you would recommend? Choose the appropriate preposition. I think it depends of that person, on that person, in that person. I think it depends on that person. If if they're new to anime, I think I would recommend something like Attack on Titan or Boku no Hero Academia, My Hero Academia. But if they're advanced, I would recommend Jojo, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. But in order to understand Jojo and love Jojo, I think you have to have a background of anime because then you don't realize how good Jojo is. I'm a big Jojo fan, by the way, if you don't know this. Um, I think, yeah, starting with these two and then switching to Jojo would make you fall in love with anime, in my opinion. And Death Note. I think Death Note can... Everybody watch it and love it. I think the concept is not that hard um, to understand, to love, and the characters are not that weird as Jojo, so... 
In which option is that used as an emphasizer? It's not that bad. I don't know that man. I think that you're right. Dead Note, Eticon Titan, My Hero Academia, and then Jojo. If you've enjoyed learning English with Ruri, then don't stop now. I've linked her channel down in the description below. And you can check out this other lesson that we made together, which is super inspiring, and it will help you to be as successful as she has been in getting fluent and natural English. Let's check out a clip from that. I think even like when I started my channel back in the day, I think it was not a, not a year. I think it was around like 11 months ago or something, I started to pause regularly. And at that time I wasn't really comfortable talking in English and I wasn't smiling at all. I wrote script and I was reading that only. I just like posing the camera and reading that and posing it again. And a lot of people are saying that you have no emotions at all.